In this video, I'm gonna show you a very homeowner friendly way to measure the temperature split on your air conditioner. You may hear a technician refer to it as Delta T and I'm gonna to explain to you why you actually wanna know this. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you know when we release a new video. Since the sun's out, let's go change, and get this done. Come on. Sometimes we wonder if our air conditioner is cooling the way that it should. And a quick way to test this is to measure how cold the air is going to the home versus how warm the air is coming back to the system. This difference in temperature is referred to as Delta T or a temperature split. And if the temperature split is out of too much of a range, if it's too high or too low, you can assume that something's not working right with your system. Now, all you need to test this is a probe style thermometer. I like a digital readout. Now an HVAC technician would do way more tests than this if they were diagnosing your system, but at least I hope they would. But for the average homeowner, this is a good thing to test during air conditioner season. Now you're gonna go to wherever your furnace is and to show you how to do this, I'm gonna go to mine. Again, the only thing we're gonna need to test this is a thermometer. We're looking for about a 20 degree difference between the supply temperature and the return temperature. Some say as long as you're between 18 and 22 degrees, you're okay. But you don't wanna get much lower than that or higher than that. Um, the first thing you wanna do is make sure that your air conditioner has been running for about 15 minutes. So if it's not, go to your thermostat, bump the temperature down low enough that your air conditioner actually kicks on. While your air conditioner is running, the next thing we need to do is identify which is the supply side and which is the return side. Go to wherever your furnace is, and if your air filter is down at the furnace, it makes it even easier to tell which direction the air is going. The return air comes before the filter. The supply will be after the filter, past the blower fan and the furnace heat exchanger, where the system turns into silver sheet metal, also known as a plenum. Once you identify that, you're ready to measure the temperature. You need an access hole that's big enough to insert the probe of the thermometer. If your air conditioner has ever been serviced before, you may find that there's already a hole where you can insert your thermometer. Insert the thermometer into the return air and wait for the temperature to stop moving. Once it does, record that temperature somewhere. Then you're gonna insert the thermometer on the supply side and wait for it to stop moving. Go ahead and record that temperature. Then subtract the supply temperature from the return temperature and that's your delta T or your temperature split. If your temperature split is between 18 and 22 degrees, your system's probably doing what it was designed to do. If you're higher or lower than that, it could be several different things. You may have restricted airflow, uh, low refrigerant, or it could be something else. You may want an HVAC technician to come out and diagnose your system before it goes out. Now keep in mind, if your temperature split is within range, but you're still having comfort issues around the house, like hot and cold spots, for example, it's possible that your system wasn't designed and sized properly for your home before it was installed. There are fixes for that, but that's a conversation for another time. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already. Until next time, thanks so much for watching and good luck with your next project. And don't forget, it's okay to ask for help. See ya.